rising. Happy Thursday, I believe it is. Another uh, rainy one in the nation's capital. It's uh, very difficult weather for riding my scooter. Oh, no. You know, well, lots you of know. treacherous puzzle, uh, puddles to M deal with. Much easier puzzles. in the communal method of taking the metro, Robbie, because that wouldn't be your, your style. Or if an individualist. Actually, I took the metro for the first time in, I think, like two years. And you know how the escalators are always broken? Mm -hmm. People don't know this if they've never been to D.C. The right. escalators for public transportation are always broken. I think I actually broke one. My, I, my wheel for my scooter got like jammed in the escalator, <laughs> and we'll it stopped to, immediately. We'll have to see if you get a bill now from uh, from the transportation. Uh, maybe I should have admitted that on uh, live TV. Anyway, uh, I'm not the only person who might be in some trouble. We have Mayor Eric Adams of New York City being indicted in a federal corruption investigation. He's the first New York City mayor to face a federal charge while in office. And that seems kind of surprising, but it's actually just him. The indictment remains sealed as of this moment, but the investigation is focused in part on whether Adams and his campaign conspired with the Turkish government to receive illegal foreign donations. Mayor Adams made a video statement in response. He was defiant. Let's watch. My fellow New Yorkers, it is now my belief that the federal government intends to charge me with crimes. If so, these charges will be entirely false based on lies. But they would not be surprising. I always knew that if I stood my ground for all of you, that I would be a target. And a target I became. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me as guilty. Just this past week, they searched the home of our new police commissioner, looking for documents from 20 years ago, just one week after he joined my administration. Enough. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. FBI officials searched Adams' home this morning and seized his phone. It all comes after a series of high-level resignations in the Adams administration amid at least four federal probes. The calls for Adams to resign are quickly growing, and they're coming from city council members, state senators, and assembly members. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeted, quote, I do not see how Mayor Adams can continue governing New York City. The flood of resignations and vacancies are threatening government function. Non-stop investigations will make it impossible to recruit and retain a qualified administration. For the good of the city, he should resign. But House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries defended Mayor Adams yesterday morning. Let's watch. As far as I can tell, Eric Adams is working as hard as he can uh, to be the best mayor possible and meet the needs of the residents of New York City. Uh, we need Eric Adams to be successful as mayor uh, because he is the mayor at this moment in time. And the congressional delegation is going to continue to work as hard as we can uh, to help Mayor Adams successfully lead the people of New York City and Governor Hochul successfully lead the people of New York State. There was also plenty of online reaction. Popular Democratic Gen Z influencer Harry Sisson tweeted, quote, he should resign immediately. See, Republicans, we don't stand with those who have been indicted or call it a witch hunt. Not hard. Meghan McCain tweeted, quote, this is some Gotham City Batman plotline shit. And to McCain's point, the plot has definitely changed since Mayor Adams once called himself the future of the Democratic Party. What a future. Let's watch. I know retrospectfully I'm going to be appreciated as a mayor that lived up to what I said I was going to do. I'm not going to do that now. You know, people always crap on us when we're in the ring. But when my, when my gloves are hung up, people going to look at, let's say that was an authentic ball-headed, earring-wearing <laughs> brother that did his thing as the mayor of the city of New York. The most important city on the globe is being run by a person who was dyslexic, arrested, rejected, and now I'm elected to mm. be the mayor of the city. Well, there you have Charlemagne the God reacted to the latest on Adams this morning. The Breakfast Club host said he's innocent until proven guilty, but Charlemagne also wondered if race has anything to do with this. Let's watch. I also will say when Mayor Adams was here last time, he said that, uh, and this is his words, he said that there's an attack on black mayors all across the country. When I look at him getting indicted, when I look at uh, Marty Smalls in Atlantic City getting indicted, I can't help but wonder if there is something to that. I'm just saying. Adams is expected to surrender next week, uh, according to the New York 
post. Um, I, I don't think it's necessarily a racial thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Menendez has also faced um, corruption charges. Um, I, it's, a, it's a shame that more corrupt political figures mm -hmm. are, are not investigated. But um, Eric Adams is accused of some pretty brazen stuff, um, be, basically being an unregistered foreign agent, mm -hmm. receiving all these, uh, these boons, these gifts from uh, the Turks mm -hmm. and others. And so this is very bad, and of course he's entitled to due process and the presumption of innocence, but um, I don't know, nobody seems pretty surprised about no. any of it coming to a head like this. No, I don't think anybody is all that shocked, because of course the investigation into Turkey and the suggestion appears to be the solicitation of illegal campaign donations to Adams's mayoral campaign when, when he, he won in 2021, of course. So that's the... the uh, argument. I do always find it a little tricky when politicians always ha take refuge if they are indicted or charged in this idea that, well, they're, they're coming after me because I'm for the people. Yes. We'll they're really after you. The, I'm just in the way, uh, that whole Trump line. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They're after you. Let's see, let's see what the evidence says about that. You know, as you say, entitled to the presumption of innocence, but there's the Turkey investigation. There's a separate probe, apparently, into the police commissioner, who has a twin brother, and they have some dealings with nightclubs that are being looked at. There's a third issue about a consulting business. So it's not as if, frankly, this mayoral administration, uh, nobody could mistake it for being squeaky clean so far. We'll see where the case leads, but yeah, it's not a huge surprise. Well, the city's knight in shining armor uh, may be arriving. That is, of course, Andrew Cuomo, who I am seeing some reports, including one from Axios, that he is already considering running for mayor I, I of New York City. I wouldn't be even remotely shocked if he ran. He has been interested in a return to the political front line for a long time. Whether the voters are interested in that is, is another matter, Amazing. of course. You poor New Yorkers. Uh, I thought we have it bad here in Washington, D.C. With Actually, we had a, in D.C. recently a member of council um, arrested for some mm -hmm. really low-level and basic uh, corruption charges. There was a um, not like a violence, uh, a nonprofit organization that helps to like steer at risk youth out of right. violence, and they were just handing him wads of cash in order to award the city's contracts to that organization. Um, he was arrested in, the, in my building. I didn't know he was ah, in my building. In so. Interesting. Re representative of Ward 8, which is the yes. poorest ward in, in D.C., for people who are less um, familiar with the internal geography of Washington. In that instance... Another black man, so maybe Charlemagne the God is going to draw some links there. But. In, in that instance, the council member was on surveillance camera uh, accepting money. I think he's also pleading innocence. He's entitled to the presumption of innocence, too. But the evidence certainly appeared pretty damning in that respect. Well, we will continue to follow this uh, with a lot of attention. I know Eric Adams had a lot of enemies in uh, progressive circles mm -hmm. uh, in New York, um, uh, sparring once with Eli Mialurin, who's someone we've had on Rising before, on I think on Charlemagne the God's mm -hmm. show, and she really tore into him for being bad on from her, you know, from the left progressive perspective, sure. um, uh, criminal justice reform and and rights for inmates and that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, maybe soon he's going to wish he was a little bit uh, more well, <laughs> favorable on, on those subjects. Yeah, well, I, I, behind bars. I don't get the impression AOC was shedding too many tears when she put out that tweet uh, criticizing him. And there is, to be fair, a legitimate issue about how the biggest city in the nation conducts its business when yeah. its mayor is under indictment. More rising right after this.